All righty. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day, keeping well and safe. Um, thank you all for joining us for another Show Me How session. Uh, we have lots of goodies in store for you today. We have the wonderful and talented Nabila, who's going to be showing us how to break brownies today. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to go over a few housekeeping things. Um, if you guys would like to keep your cameras on, that would be amazing. So Nabila can see you are all um, but if you could keep your mics off, that would be much appreciated. Um, if you do have any questions throughout the session, feel free to um, either unmute yourself or write it in the chat box. Um, and we can uh, read those questions out for you and be like can answer them for you. Um, so if you have any questions, write them in the chat box and we will do that for you. Um, so without any further ado, Nabila, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Yasmeen. Yeah, I with it, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great week and a great day. It is extremely hot. What better day than to make brownies today? Um, so before we get started, just a quick one. Um, make sure your ovens are on. Uh, I need you to put them on at 170 degrees. That's gas mark three. Uh, we're just going to get the oven heated so that once our brownie mix is ready, the oven is ready to take those brownies in. So oven at 170 degrees, gas mark three. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with our light brown sugar. So I want you to pour 200 grams, 200 grams of light brown sugar in, into your mixing bowl. So I'm just gonna pour it all in, all of that sugar in. Sugar. Yeah, the sugar first. So we're gonna put 200 grams of light brown sugar in. The next up in with the brown light brown sugar is 85 grams of butter now before you put that in um, if you can just make sure the butter is soft so that it'll be easier for you to mix so if you want you can put it in the microwave for five to ten seconds um, mine's quite moist already because of the heat that we have today but if yours isn't soft just put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and then put it in with the light brown sugar and start mixing away Now you can use a whisk, a fork or a spoon. I'm going to use a fork uh, to blend in the butter into the sugar. So I'm just going to start by pressing the butter into the sugar. And you want to try and mix all of that butter into the sugar until it makes a sticky paste. So this is probably the longest part of the process. So we're going to spend about a good five minutes mixing these two together. So it's sort of like a, yeah, 85 grams of butter. Yeah. Um, so it's sort of like a bit of exercise before eating those brownies. I want you to use your arm and really mix in that butter into the um, sugar. If at any point the butter sticks to the fork, feel free to use a spoon and just scrape it off. So I'm just going to scrape it off back into the mixing bowl and continue mixing it. Once it's all mixed together, just give me a thumbs up so I know that you are ready for the next step. But it should take a couple of minutes, so don't rush this. This is probably the most important step. Oh, it looks like Ariane's already there. <laughs> and Sean is. Okay, just continue mixing it. Once mine becomes nice and sticky, I will show you so you can have a bit of an idea of what it should look like. So the paste, you shouldn't be able to see any butter in the paste. Oh, Shanur is also ready to go through the next step. You guys are ahead of me. Oh, 
looks like Hannah's done. Zian is, yeah, Zia and Ayan are done. If you have mixed it all together, mine's still mixing, but if you have mixed it, the next step is the best step. If you wanted to actually show me, for those of you who have your cameras on, if you wanted to show me, you can show me, or we can go into the next step. Okay, so I'll show you the next step. I'm still, oh, that looks good, Zia. Looks really good, perfect. Good job. Yeah, that looks really, really good. That looks really good. Nasima, that looks really good. Okay, so if you guys have already mixed it together, then the best part can't, oh, that looks really good. Thank you, Chanel, for showing us. Good job. Um, so the next part is the best part. So you're gonna add in your paste, um, your spread now. So if you've got Nutella or peanut butter or Lotus Biscoff, um, whichever spread that you have. So that was eight, uh, 70 grams of uh, the chocolate spread or peanut butter spread, 70 grams. You're gonna pour it all in into that mix. So I'm gonna quickly finish mixing my butter and sugar and then I'll add my Nutella spread. Make sure you do a good, good mix of it. We're gonna spend some time mixing this all together so it's it come together. I don't wanna rush this step. The better we mix it, the better the brownies. So here's a quick, I haven't put in my Nutella yet, but this is what my paste looks like. So it's all sort of stuck together. You want to have it so that the butter and the brown sugar stick together. Bring that in. And once you have added in the spread, Nutella, peanut butter, lotus, um, whichever spread that you've used, I want you to really, really mix that in as much as you can. Yeah, that looks really, really good, Elishva. Yeah, that looks really good. Keep mixing now, that looks really good. Good job. So I'm gonna add in my Nutella now. My paste looks ready. The more you mix it, um, the chewier your brownies will be. So I want you to keep mixing, sort of do round circles in that mixing bowl. Give me a thumbs up if uh, your spread is all mixed and you're ready for the next step. Make sure you've given it a thorough mix. Oh yeah, got loads of thumbs up. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so next step is we're going to crack one large egg. So I want you to crack one large egg into the mix. Those of you who have recently joined, um, uh, just a heads up, please put uh, your oven on to 170 degrees, gas mark three. We want to make sure that that oven is ready and warm for our brownies. <laughs> yeah, if your arm hurts, that's a good sign. That means you're mixing it very thoroughly. Good job, Noreen. So once you've cracked that egg in, I want you to really, really whisk it in. So with a fork uh, or a whisk. It should sort of turn into a, a little bit more of a runny mix. Uh, feel free to show me your mix if you would like. Yeah, Zia, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Keep mixing it. Have you put the egg in? Yeah. Perfect. Ayan, you're... Sorry? Ayan, 
you're ahead of the game. I really want you to mix it in as much as possible. The more you mix, the chewier the brownies. And they'll taste a lot better. Yeah, that looks good, Shinis. Thank you. Shinora, we're we gonna get to see you with your video on. Perfect, that looks good. That looks really, really good. Good job. Okay, thumbs up if we've mixed in that egg thoroughly. Oh, that looks really good, Elishma. Good job. Looks really good. Looks like a lot of you guys have used chocolate spread on Nutella. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so thumbs up for the next step. Perfect. Great. Okay, so next step is, so all the powdered ingredients. So it's 120 grams of plain flour, uh, 45 grams of oats, and I'm just using like oats, porridge oats, um, one teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm going to say that again. 120 grams of plain flour, 45 grams of oats, and one teaspoon of baking powder. So we're going to put all those powdered ingredients into a bowl. Plain flour, oats, and baking powder. And we're going to have like a pinch of salt. So I'm thinking just under a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Very little. And we're going to also add that in into this bowl. So once you have all those powdered ingredients, plain flour, oats, baking powder, and salt, you're going to pour all of it into the mix. So I'm just going to go all the way in, all of it in. Yeah. So we've poured all of that mixture into the mixing bowl and it's a simple mix away. Now I'd say start slowly because the, powder, uh, the powdered ingredients will potentially go everywhere. So just start slowly mixing into sort of like an eight shape mix. And then you can go as the dough, um, as the mix becomes a bit more um, doughy. One teaspoon of um, baking powder, Hannah. One, one teaspoon of baking powder. So once you put all those powdered ingredients in, it should start forming a dough, yeah? Yeah, one teaspoon, yeah. Thank you, Yasmin. Now we're gonna start mixing. So here's a look of my bowl. So at the moment, I haven't mixed it all, but I'm starting to mix it. And as I mix it, it's gonna become like a dough. You'll see it slowly turning into a dough. So you can do sort of um, round circles or like an eight shape in the mix to make sure that every little bit of that powdered ingredient gets mixed in to the um, dough. Mix it all in. Feel free to show me, um, oh, just a pinch of salt, Hannah. So when I say a pinch, maybe just a quarter of a teaspoon or just less than a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'll just say that one more time. 120 grams of plain flour, 45 grams of oats, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. So about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And mix it all in. It'll become a, a bit more sticky, so the mixing might give you a bit of an arm exercise, but that's, that's good. Feel free to show me your uh, bowl. Here's a look at mine. So mine's slowly becoming like a dough, becoming like a sticky dough. Yeah, that looks good, Zia. Looking good. Keep mixing it, build some arm muscle. Yeah, that looks, uh, yeah, that looks really good, Elishva. Yep, keep mixing it. That's looking good. Oh, that's really, really good. Shine is. Good job. 
Make sure you can't see any powdered ingredients, so no white. It should just be the color of the spread that you put. So if you put Nutella, it should look brown. If you put peanut butter, it should look lighter brown. So I don't want to see any, it's okay if you can see the oats, but I don't want to see any powder or baking powder or salt. The mix looking ready? Yeah, that looks good, Shanur. Good job. Give me a thumbs up if your mix is all mixed together. Lishba, yours is looking really good. Yeah, I got one thumbs up. Oh, I got two, three. Perfect. Yeah, that looks gr great, Noreen. Looks really good. Okay, I have a lot of thumbs up. Okay, comes the next part. So if you, um, if you have 80 grams of chocolate chips, uh, I want you to pour them in and mix a bit more. So 80 grams. Yeah. I may not be as effective as I want to. So we're gonna put it in 80 grams of chocolate chips. And we're going to mix that mix. Once you've mixed that together, I want you to keep that mixing bowl and put it to the side. We're going to keep that to the side and I want you to get out your chopping board. So just put the mix to the side. We're just going to keep it to the side just for a moment. And we're going to get our chopping board out. Now, I don't know which chocolate you guys have brought, but I've got Snickers. So whichever chocolate you have, Twix, Alishba, that looks good. It looks good. Yeah, just make sure you've mixed in those chocolate chips. Perfect. So now on your chopping board, I want you to get your chocolate bar out. So if it's a Snickers, a Twix, a Mars bar, Crunchy, anything you like, and we're going to cut it, but I'll show you how. So just watch my camera. So we've got Snickers here. Yeah, Cadbury works. Ariane, Cadbury wax. So with the Snicker bar or whichever chocolate bar you have, I want you to cut them into thin slices. So just slices like this, just thin slices. So if it's a roller, you can cut it in half. If it's a crunchy bar, you can cut it like this. Ferrero, um, Ferrero Rocher's um, may work, um, but it may be difficult to cut them. Um, Try cutting them, and if it creates a mess, then just keep it as a whole. Keep it as a whole, actually, Hannah. Don't cut them, because I think uh, the nut will make the whole Ferrari crack. So just keep it as a whole. So you will need to cut if you can just uh, wait for me to finish this step, and then I'll show you what to do next. So with your chocolate bar, I just want you to cut them into thin slices. So I'm just doing thin slices here. Just going to cut it into thin slices. So let me just show you one. So it's just a thin slice. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. A few thumbs up. So what we're going to do next, I want you to take your baking tray out now, your baking tray, and I want you to also get some baking paper or parchment paper to put on top of your baking tray. So this is my baking tray, this is my parchment paper, and I'm going to put it inside. 
Now the next step is um, slightly tricky. So what we're going to do with the mix is we're only going to put three quarters of the mix into the baking tray. So Hello. The cut chocolate on the Antonio Bela, I just wanted to ask you a question. Um, what did you do with the bar of chocolate? Did you put uh, it? I just cut it. Okay, thank you. Uh, no. Sorry, okay. Go on. So I've, I've just cut it and I've left it on the side. I'm not doing anything with it just yet. Good question. I should have clarified. So we've just cut the chocolate and I just want you to keep it on the side. We're not putting it in the mix, but just keeping it to the side. We'll come back to this bit in a minute. So just keep the chocolate on the side and I want you to get your baking tray um, and parchment paper and we're going to put three quarters of the mix, not all of it, just three quarters of the mix. So roughly estimate how much that would be between a half and three quarters and you can start putting it in the mix. So it will be slightly sticky the mix but that's fine. Feel free to use the help of the spoon just to push it down. So we're just going to put three quarters of that mix in. And once you've put it in, I want you to flatten it out. So we're just going to flatten it out as much as we can. It will be slightly sticky, but that's fine. Hopefully you can see my screen. So I'm just flattening it out and spreading it as much as I can. So once you've done that, this is where the part comes with regards to the cut chocolate. So I use Snickers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to place, uh, that's a good question. Um, uh, in terms of the baking tray, um, it doesn't matter if you use a square one or a flat one, but I would recommend it not to be too deep. So when you put the mix in, uh, just don't make your brownie mix too uh, deep. Otherwise, it'll take much, much longer to cook. So I'd say just keep it a couple of centimeters. I hope that answers the question, you know. So with the cut chocolate, if you just watch, I'm just going to place it on top of my mix. So I'm just placing it everywhere on the mix. So if you've got Twix, Rolos, or the Ferrero Rocher Hannah, you can just place them on top. Ah, uh, yes, you can. You can grease. Um, you can uh, grease the surface with butter if you don't have parchment paper. So we're going to. So I put my Snickers everywhere. Feel free to add more chocolate if you like. So once you've placed all the chocolate, so once you've placed all the chocolate, you're going to use the remainder of that mix and place it on top. So you're going to try and cover all the chocolate that you've just placed. So with the remainder of that mix, I'm just going to place it on top, sort of like a sandwich with the chocolate in the middle. Yeah? So again, with the use of the spoon and a fork, I'm just going to put it on top and spread it evenly across. And then I'm just going to spread it using my uh, fork and spoon across so that you can't see any of the chocolate.
Once you've done that, give me a thumbs up. Ishan, you're very quick. I'm still finishing this up. And just a reminder, see if you can keep that um, brownie mix um, not too thick. Oh, Elishba's done as well. Great, good job. So once you've done that, you are ready to put it in the oven. So just a reminder, 170 degrees. Now you're gonna put it in the oven for 27 minutes. That looks really good, Elishba. Wow, that looks amazing. So you're gonna put it in the oven now for 27 minutes. Remember, we're doing it at 170 degrees. Try, uh, put it in the middle of the oven. Um, put it in the middle of the oven, not too high up and not too low down for 27 minutes. I think mine is ready to go in the oven as well. So I'll just quickly show you what mine looks like before I put it in the oven. My pretty little. So I'm gonna put this in the middle of the oven at 27 degrees, um, 20, 27 degrees for 27 minutes at 170 degrees. Now we're gonna put it in for 27 minutes. So um, I actually have done a batch before, so I'm gonna give you a quick look of what it should look like when you take it out of the oven. Let me just take my camera down. So here's, I mean, one piece is miss, missing because I ate it, but still. Um, so this is what it will look like. When it come, comes out, it will look very nice and gooey. You'll see the melted chocolate. I use Snickers and the chocolate chips, and you'll see a bit of the oats, and it'll be nice and chewy. So this is sort of what it should look like when it comes out of the oven. Um, when you take it out of the oven, just a reminder um, to let it um, cool down before you start cutting it. So I'd say um, when you take it out of the oven, I'd give it another half an hour just to sit and cool down uh, before you start cutting it. And then your brownies will be ready to go. So remember, 27 minutes, uh, 170 degrees. Do you guys have any questions? Perfect. Perfect, okay, well then that's it for today. That's the whole process for making the brownies. Um, now I would say, um, I would stay on to see the brownies come out, but I'll give you back your half an hour and please I ask the, uh, take pictures of these brownies. I really want to see what they look like and if they taste delicious. And let us know what chocolates you use. I'd like to see how they came out with Ferrero Rocher, Rolos and whatever, um, whichever chocolates that you guys use. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's session. Yasmin, Noreen, Alim, thank you for having me. It's been great and I look forward to seeing all the pictures. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Nabila. Um, I think everyone had a really good time mixing and a lot of people were sweating and, and arms were hurting. So that shows a lot. So thank you so much, Nabila, for that amazing baking session. Um, we hope you all had a great time.